<laughs> okay, let's start. Okay, welcome back everyone. So we have a problem from the German National Olympiad from 2017. Um, you have real numbers X, Y, Z with someone non-negative and you want to show that it's between these two things. So first I want to figure out um, where those two numbers come from. Presumably they're sharp. Um, and yeah, okay, if I plug in 100, zero, zero, um, gives exactly one. I bet if it expands, I, I also agree that if you expand, it probably works. Also, I'm not going to expand because that's terrible. Uh, if I do one there, one there, that gives the 9th, right? Yeah, it gives 9th. Okay, so that's where it is. 1 half, 1 half, 0 gives. Does that give anything? 1 half. Oh! Okay. 1 half, 1 half, 0 gives exactly 1. Oh, actually, it just. Any variable equal to any variable equals zero gives one. Okay, so I'm a little more scared now. <laughs> it's not that dope. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Any variable zero gives one. Crap. Thank you. Left as an exercise for the follow. Subtract x plus y plus z. Um. Oh, sure. Okay. So subtract x plus y plus z gives... For, for, let's do for the left. For the left, subtract x plus y plus z gives something. It's like you want... <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, so the lower bound is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh... Yeah. Okay, right, that's fine. Right, let's do the upper bound. Okay, so... <laughs> I wonder if this is inequality is weak enough that, like... Yeah, so this is like less than 9 eighths. We want to show this is less than x plus y plus z over 8, right? Um, or something like that. So I wonder if like... So x, y plus y, z plus z, x will be at most a third. And if I like throw like... Yen sun? So is t, is like t maps to 1 minus t convex? Or con concave over zero one. Can someone compute that derivative? Oh, I'll just compute it. No, I should know the answer to this. What am I doing? Uh, this is equal to. X, Y, Z. Um, wait, what? Oh, shit! No! No! Okay, well that's also... Oh, that's actually better for me than I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. <sighs> this is how you know I'm getting old. <laughs> X, Y, Z. Okay. This is still fine, because this is non-negative. This is strictly positive. So we want this. Mm, maybe it's still fine. So... This is the same as saying I want this. Still remembering the condition. You know, actually, no, yeah, screw this. I'm, I'm just gonna let this let this be one. Um. Okay, so I I am. No, we're not gonna homogenize. I I think. Let me, let me make sure this is going the right way. On the one hand, this thing is less than or equal to... By Jensen, it's less than or equal to... What? 3 over 1 minus xy plus yz plus zx over 3. 
And then, so we write the given like this, right? And I think this doesn't look like it's it, the degree is so low that I feel like things are pointing the right way. So um, first, uh, so let me let me write this out. First step is this. It doesn't look. I don't know. It just doesn't look that strong. Because <laughs> the thing is, like this x over x y z is on the bottom, right? Like this is really this right hand side is enormous. Like I have a hard time imagining something being like less than. 1 over freaking XYZ. That's like about as bad as you can get. Um, so, suffice it to prove that if X plus Y plus Z equals 3, then... Did I, flip the, I didn't flip the Jensen, right? Because 1 over T is convex, so 1 over 1 minus T should be concave, I think. Uh, is that true? Wait, let, let me double check that. No, no, I'm stupid. This is the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. That's sad. Okay. Um... Yeah, sorry, it meant one, but okay, the, the ensign doesn't work, I flipped the sign. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> what if I do XYZ over X? Um... So will let f of t be defined as 1 over 1 minus xyz over t. Now this is convict kick, right? Because I also flipped the other way. So... By... it's concave. So by Jensen... On Hang on. Why am I worried about this guy off bounds? Thank you, 3VT, for the subscription. Welcome back. It's been eight months of Okay. That works, right? If, if I use Yensen now, I can ground it from above. Because I, I just like don't want to deal with the fractions. And I also just don't... I, sus I strongly suspect the inequality is like pretty weak. Uh, so this is cyclic sum of... Is at most 3 over 1 minus x, y, z over x plus y plus z over 3. Which, okay, like x plus y plus z is 1, so we, we should just say this is at most 3 over 1 minus 3xyz. Cool. So, uh, here's the claim. We want, if x plus y plus z is equal to 3, then 3 over 1 minus 3xyz is less than or equal to 1 over 8xyz. Yeah. I mean, it has- there's no way it doesn't- like, 1 over x, y, z is about as small as you are ever going to get. <laughs> right? Clear. Okay. I can't see the keyboard. Oh, did the keyboard camera freeze? The heck? Why did it freeze? Uh, wow, what a shame. Did that happen recently? I thought it was waking up to a moment ago. 
I've been typing without touching the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Cool, I staked my claim. I don't know. Low degree, like the lower degree of inequality is, the more likely it is to be pretty weak. Just as a rule of thumb. So I was just like, oh, this looks like a low degree inequality. It just shouldn't be that bad. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the min bound is pretty funny. I, I'll give <laughs> This is pretty it's hilarious. Uh, okay. But I, I didn't flip a sign, right? It's yeah, the, the XYZs are all on the other end. Is it right up time? Oh yeah, good point. I should write this up. Um, okay. This is Germany 2017-5, right? I feel like it's been a really long time since the last stream. I'm not sure why. I don't know. It's probably because you smoke grading made me insane. Um, but... Oh, so I want this between zero and an eighth. The left hand side is now clear since max y z z x x o less than one. Moving points are not beginners. Shout out from its Lumi. Very true. Inside. Oh my god, moving points. 